Hey YouTubers, this is Gopher Bob on the Gopher Bob channel, and today we are doing a review on set number 6190. It is called the Shark's Crystal Cave, and it was uh, part of the Aquazone Aqua Sharks theme. Alright, it has 258 pieces and two minifigs, and this was released in 1996. And <clears throat> comes with a big base plate. This is obviously a space base plate just painted with uh, blue to show underwater. All right, um, that's really it. That's it. Now, here's the box. Put that to one side. We will view the box. That's what it came in the Aqua Sharks up there. Okay, that's it there. We've got some alternative, see, some alternative builds there, perhaps, or different uh, scenes. Yeah, the different scenes from it. Shark, two aqua shark guys. Uh, that's it there. All right, let's go to the back of the box with some uh, alternative builds. You know, nice alternative builds there. Pictures there. On the side, uh, one there, and that one there, and that's it. All right, let's open it up and have a look what came with it. No, this was the insert, and that there had different pieces on there. That would have had a shark, would have been in there. And you peel that off, and that's where you took the pieces from. Okay, some pieces, other pieces were in bags. So, that's that. Ooh. Okay, now we get some advertising material in this. From 1996. Get uh, some city. Stuff. Okay, and yeah, more fire, really extreme, some extreme stuff there, some racing. Uh, you've got some roadworks and an airport there. <coughs> you've got some Paradisia with uh, an airport, sh with a shuttle there, space shuttle. There's Paradisia. Some trains. Okay, and you got some boats there. And you got some pirate ships. It's part of 1996. Coming out in 1996, so. Some castle, vintage castle. I think it's still got that to build, I think. It's still just stuck in a box somewhere. Alright, then we got uh, Aquazone. There. And then we got the Aqua Sharks over here. That's the set there. And Explorines. And we've got the Spirus with the monorail, the space, and a few robots. And we'll be coming up to technique sets. Different sets they had then. And it's more technique, and then they're, yeah, they're getting into technique, but they're, you know, the space shuttle, there's fiber optics in it. And then you've got uh, model team. So that's the advertising in that. Let's have a look at the instructions for the model. And you got some alternative builds there. There's no instructions for the alternative builds. But um, yeah, that's the instructions. There's the minifig there. And 
There's the base plate. That's the last thing you build, which takes there's more alternative builds there or some pictures of the playability of the base plate, which is basically the landing area for uh, the submarine. Base plant. All right, 21 steps to uh, finish the, the shark submarine. And eight steps to do the base. All right, now let's get into the actual model itself. Bring it closer. Right, let's get into the minifigs. I mean, this is, that's a nice chunky headpiece with a couple of spears, harpoons, whatever you want to say, with uh, air tanks. Really, really cool one that could flip up. All right, there's the guy there, nice fringe. That's the only printing on his torso. Okay. Uh, let's take out the shark. That's the shark. Rawr. That's for him. He goes back in his cage. Alright, this is the other guy. Pretty much exactly the same torso. But he has a cool, uh, a cool hook. Trans... Trans clear um, yellow hook. So nice head printing there. Okay. And his headpiece or breathing apparatus, scuba gear is just the same. Let's see the other guy. Oh, probably a little bit more. Of no, it's just the same. Just the same. All right, so that's that. Let's have a look at the submarine or the shark. It's got some propellers on the back. It's got a tail fin, some wings. They move up and down. That there moves up and that can move up like so. Okay, and that bends as well. That's um, a little mini sub in there. Okay, it's a compartment for that. It goes down there. These are all printed pieces. There is no stickers on them whatsoever. Okay, that's that. That goes up, compartment in there. That's for the sub, mini sub. That side as well. Okay, you got steering wheel there. That goes up, down. Some more storage compartments in there. Some more storage compartments in there. There's another letter box thing in there where you store crystals. These are all magnets. Okay, they're magnets because this thing here is magnetized. Okay, and you got a claw hammer there, a oh, claw hammer, a um, claw grabber that moves around. Yeah, that picks up and puts the crystal in there, the translucent, the letter boxes, trans clear, and there's a crystal in there. That stops. They're pretty much down there. Well, they track to each other as well. Cool. All right, that's that. That's it. Pick that up, goes in the back. Now the cool thing about this, this has a working compass. A very cool working compass, actual real. It will point to north. 
So very cool. That's what they did in those days. So yeah, that's what that is. Working compass, very cool. This will definitely be going in my city, underwater somewhere. And uh, that'll be that. So thank you very much for watching. Guys, for a uh, review on set 6190, 258 pieces, two minifigs, with the base plate, landing station, uh, the shark goes there, or the, or the uh, submarine goes there. I think Brixar did um, a review on it as well, if you go to his channel, but I don't think he has the box, which is kind of cool. All right, because I saved all my boxes. Okay, thank you very much, guys, for watching, and we will catch you on the next video. Bye.